Most mechanics won't tell you this, but the biggest reason engines fail isn't bad luck. It's bad oil changes. People mess up the oil type, overfill it, skip filters, or forget one tiny detail, and then wonder why their engine's making strange noises or losing power. If you drive a European car, the risk is even worse. This video breaks down the mistakes that could destroy your engine way faster than you think. Putting the wrong oil in your engine might not seem like a big deal, but it can lead to serious engine damage, especially in European cars. These vehicles are built with very specific needs, and the oil they require must meet ACEA standards and manufacturer approvals. If you don't follow the rules, you could be asking for trouble. One of the most important things about engine oil is its viscosity. That's just a fancy word for how thick or thin the oil is. In colder places, oils like 0W40 work best because they stay thin enough to flow quickly and protect the engine right after you start it. If the oil is too thick, it might not reach all the engine parts in time, especially during a cold start. On the other hand, if you live somewhere hot and your oil is too thin, it might break down too fast, leaving your engine without enough protection. European car makers also have their own oil requirements. For example, Volkswagen engines usually need oils that meet the VW 504.00 or 507.00 standards. These oils are made for engines with special filters called DPFs or diesel particulate filters. BMW cars often require long life 04 oils that are safe for both diesel and petrol engines and work well with modern emission systems. Another thing to know is that many European cars need something called low saps oil. This type of oil contains less sulfated ash phosphorus and sulfur, which helps protect emission systems like catalytic converters and DPFs. Using the wrong oil in these systems can cause blockages, damage the filters, and even lead to expensive repairs. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Changing your oil is important, but changing the oil filter at the same time is just as important. Many people forget about the filter, but ignoring it can lead to serious engine problems. The oil filter has one job, to keep the oil clean. As your engine runs, small particles of metal, dirt, and other debris build up in the oil. The filter catches these things and keeps them from getting into important engine parts. But over time, the filter fills up and stops working as well. When that happens, the oil can't flow through it properly. If the filter gets too clogged, your engine might start using a bypass valve to keep the oil moving. The problem is, the oil going through the bypass valve isn't filtered at all. That means dirty oil is now running through your engine, which can cause parts to wear out faster. European cars often have special filters that need to be installed a certain way. For instance, many Mercedes-Benz engines use cartridge-style filters. These need to be hand-tightened and then turned a little more to make sure they seal properly. Skipping the filter change or installing it the wrong way can lead to poor performance and higher fuel use. Experts recommend changing the filter every 8,000 to 12,000 kilometers to keep everything running smoothly. If you skip this simple step, you might start to notice rough driving, strange engine noises, or lower fuel economy. And over time, all of that adds up to serious engine wear and expensive repairs. A clean filter keeps your oil clean and your engine happy. Believe it or not, putting too much oil in your engine can be just as bad as running it low. It might seem like more oil means more protection, but that's not how engines work. When there's too much oil, the crankshaft, an engine part that spins very fast, starts to whip the oil into foam. Foamy oil doesn't protect engine parts properly because it doesn't stick to them like normal oil does. This leads to more friction, more heat, and faster wear on all the moving parts inside your engine. Overfilling can also create too much pressure inside the engine. This pressure builds up in places like the crankcase and the breather system. When the pressure gets too high, seals and gaskets can start to leak or blow out completely. In worst case scenarios, you could end up with bent rods, broken pipes, or other major failures. Another problem is that extra oil can get into places it shouldn't, like the combustion chamber. When that happens, it can foul the spark plugs or even burn along with the fuel, sending white smoke out the exhaust. It also makes your engine run less efficiently, so you'll lose power and waste fuel. To avoid this, it's best to add a little oil at a time, half a liter at most, while checking the level with the dipstick. Always make sure the old oil is completely drained before adding new oil, and double check your owner's manual to find out exactly how much oil your car needs. When there's not enough oil in the engine, the moving parts inside don't get the lubrication they need. This causes more friction, which creates heat and wears the engine down faster than it should. If this continues, it can eventually cause the engine to fail completely. This is especially important for European cars like the Audi A4. These vehicles often have high-performance engines that rely on very specific oil levels to run properly. For example, the Audi A4 typically needs around 4.5 liters of oil. If you drive it with less than that, 
parts like the crankshaft and camshaft could start wearing out early, which leads to expensive repairs. One of the first signs that there isn't enough oil is the strange engine noises, like knocking or ticking. The engine might also overheat, especially if you're driving fast on motorways, which is common in many parts of Europe. In the worst case scenario, the engine could seize completely whilst you're on the road. To avoid all of this, always check the oil level with the dipstick after adding oil. Make sure you're following the exact amount recommended by the car's manufacturer. Another mistake that can cause big problems is forgetting to remove the old gasket from the oil filter. Sometimes, when replacing the filter, the old gasket stays stuck to the engine. If a new gasket is added on top of the old one, it creates a poor seal. This leads to oil leaks, which can lower oil pressure and damage the engine. This issue happens more often in older European cars, like older Audi models. Over time, the heat from the engine causes the gasket to stick tightly to the block. If it's not noticed and removed during the oil change, the new gasket won't seal properly. Oil leaks are bad news. They reduce the amount of oil available to the engine, which again means less lubrication and more wear on important parts. Eventually, this can lead to serious engine damage. The best way to avoid this is to carefully check the old oil filter when you take it off. Make sure the gasket came off with it. Before putting the new filter on, rub a thin layer of fresh oil on the new gasket. One more common mistake is not tightening the oil drain plug correctly. If it's too loose, oil can leak out. If it's too tight, it might damage the threads or even crack the oil pan. European cars often have specific instructions for how tight this plug should be. For instance, many Renault Megane models recommend tightening the drain plug to about 30 newton meters. If you go beyond that, you could strip the threads or break the pan. If it's not tight enough, oil might slowly leak out while you're driving. This kind of leak can go unnoticed until the engine starts making noise or overheating, and fixing a damaged oil pan or strip thread can be costly. So it's always better to do it right the first time. To make sure the plug is tight enough, but not too tight, use a torque wrench set to the exact value listed in the car's manual. After tightening, start the engine and check under the car to see if there's any oil dripping from the plug area. Also, remember to replace the sealing washer with a new one every time you change the oil. That little washer plays a big role in making a good seal and keeping the oil where it belongs. The oil filter plays a vital role in keeping your engine healthy. It removes dirt and debris from the oil so that the engine stays clean and runs smoothly. But using the wrong filter can lead to serious trouble. If the filter doesn't match your engine's design, whether it's the size, shape, or threat, it might not seal properly. This can cause oil to leak out. And once oil starts leaking, your engine might not get the lubrication it needs, leading to more friction and damage over time. Another issue comes from the flow rate of the filter. Every engine is built with specific oil flow needs. If the filter lets too much or too little oil through, it can cause overheating or wear on important parts. Even the tiniest particles matter. Filters are rated by how small the debris they can trap. A mismatched filter may let dirt flow right into your engine, which can block passages and damage bearings. On top of that, some filters are designed to work with specific oil types, like synthetic or thicker oils. If you mix the wrong filter with the wrong oil, performance can suffer. If you drive a European car like the Peugeot 3 or 4, it's especially important to stick to the filter recommended by the manufacturer. It may seem like a small detail, but it protects your engine from big problems down the road. Changing your oil is only half the job. Checking for leaks right after is just as important. Many people skip this step, but it can lead to real engine trouble if oil is dripping without you noticing. One common problem is the drain plug. If it's not tightened properly or if there's dirt caught underneath, oil can start to leak. Sometimes the rubber gasket on the plug wears out and fails to seal, and even a small drip over time can lower your oil level enough to cause damage. The oil filter is another place where leaks happen, especially in European cars. Some of these filters are placed in tight or awkward spots, and if they're not installed right, they might leak too. Residual oil left during a filter change can also cause confusion. It might seem like a leak when it's just leftover oil from the swap. That's why it's good practice to wipe everything clean and run the engine for a few minutes before checking underneath for fresh drips. Modern European cars can often go longer between oil changes thanks to advanced synthetic oils and precision-built engines. But that doesn't mean you could ignore regular oil changes completely. Over time, even the best oil breaks down. It gets dirty with soot, dust, and metal particles from the engine. As it degrades, it loses its ability to lubricate properly. That means more friction, more heat, and more wear on parts that need protection. If oil changes are skipped for too long, the oil can turn into thick sludge. This sludge clogs up filters and tiny oil passages inside the engine. Once that happens, the engine can overheat, and in extreme cases, it might even seize up completely. Manufacturers like BMW and Audi recommend changing oil every 10,000 to 12,000 kilometers or once a year, depending on the model. They also specify exact oil types, 
like BMW's Long Life 04 oil, that are designed to work with their advanced engines. And there's another reason not to skip schedule changes, your warranty. If the engine breaks down and you don't follow the recommended oil change schedule, you could lose coverage on expensive repairs. Even if your car says it can go longer between changes, driving in traffic, harsh weather, or short trips can make oil wear out faster. In those cases, it's safer to change it more often. Every car is built differently, and that's especially true for European vehicles. These cars are made with high standards, and they need specific types of oil to perform at their best. Ignoring the manufacturer's instructions can lead to all sorts of problems. For example, BMW engines often need long-life 04 oil, which is made to work with diesel particulate filters. If you use the wrong kind, you might damage those systems or increase harmful emissions. Oil viscosity, how thick or thin it is, also matters. High-performance engines in brands like Audi or Porsche rely on certain viscosity ranges to keep parts cool and well lubricated. If the oil is too thick or too thin, it won't protect the engine properly, especially under stress. European cars are also built to meet strict environmental standards. Using oil that doesn't meet these standards can raise emissions and lower your fuel efficiency. That's why it's always a smart move to follow the owner's manual and ask for expert advice if you're unsure. European car specialists know what works best and can help you avoid mistakes that might not show up right away but will definitely cost you in the long run.